what level of volleyball are you at? Uh, I have played uh, professional volleyball all over the world and uh, was the second best outside hitter at the world championship. Uh, and what was my level of volleyball? Not only do I answer that in this video, but uh, you'll still be more interested in what level you are at and what level the world's best players are at. What level of volleyball am I at? Uh, what level of volleyball do I play? That's a question that a lot of volleyball players ask themselves. Bigger volleyball players uh, say to themselves, uh, I am getting better, I am getting good at uh, volleyball, but uh, what is my level compared to others? Who could I compare myself to worldwide? Professional volleyball players, uh, on the other hand, uh, say to themselves, uh, I play volleyball and this is the way how I earn my money, how I make my living. I'd like to play better and uh, make more money. Who can I compare myself to? Who is my competition when clubs are looking for players? There is no volleyball players uh, rankings uh, in professional and amateur volleyball like there is in tennis in the US, for example. Unless we are playing a match, we cannot directly compare ourselves uh, as players to others. Only the countries, according to the FIVB rankings, know how each is doing. That's why I got the idea for this video to help you figure out the level of your volleyball game. It's actually kind of a pyramid that everyone can find themselves in. Even the world's best players uh, belong in it. For simplicity, I have set up a letter by letter division of players into levels. And you'll be interested to know what level, what letter can already guarantee that you can receive money for your volleyball. Let's start from amateur and beginner players. These players know the basics of volleyball. They have been playing volleyball for a short time, maybe half a year. Or they've been playing uh, it uh, for a long time, but uh, they play and practice once a week at most. When they play matches, uh, their game is uh, dominated by mistakes over successful actions. These players, uh, in my opinion, are in the D level. Players in the C level are already more experienced. Uh, usually they have already played uh, several years of volleyball and play regional competitions. Their volleyball performance uh, shows decent quality and they don't make as many mistakes uh, in matches and the game is more fluid. They train once or twice a week and play regular matches uh, during the season. Then we have uh, players playing uh, league competitions, B-level players. Again, these players are a step up from the C-level players. Not only do they have a good level of all volleyball skills, but they also already have uh, good physical parameters. Uh, they jump and hit the ball hard. League players train at least three times a week and play over 30 games a season. They also usually know the stats and know how to prepare tactically for their opponents. You can already watch uh, the volleyball of uh, players playing uh, league competitions on the internet and sometimes even bet on their results. And we come to the professional players, the A-level players. Professional players play in the first league competition uh, in the vast majority of cases and have a match almost every weekend uh, during the season. They are paid for their work and sometimes uh, play in foreign leagues. These professional players uh, already train not only once a day, but often have uh, two training sessions. This uh, distinguish them from league players. Then there are the a players. An a player in my eyes is a player who plays excellent volleyball, is a professional with everything. He or she is one of the best players in the league and also plays uh, for the national team. These players usually don't play in the best uh, leagues uh, in the world yet and they don't play for the national teams uh, that is in the top 10 according to the FIVB rankings. The best players in the world are A++ level. These are volleyball stars we watch uh, at the Olympics, uh, World Championships and uh, Volleyball Nations League. You can also watch a lot of highlight videos about them on YouTube. They are simply stars who earn big money for their fantastic uh, volleyball performances. These players are complex, they have uh, no flaws. But that doesn't mean that uh, they are all over 205 cm tall. Takahashi, Ishikawa, TJ DeFalco, Erwin Engapet and others are no 2 meters plus tall killers and yet they are A++ players. And then there is a very narrow group or rather level of uh, phenomenal A++ players. For example, Karch Kirali belonged to the A++ level. He was the only one in the world who won the Olympics in both classic and beach volleyball. Personally, I think we don't have any A++ phenomenal player on the world courts right now. Why? 
because no single player has been able to win a world championship or Olympics uh, in the last 10 years. Only the best team has always won. None of the stars, for example, regularly make uh, more than 30 points in every game. No one regularly scored 10 aces on the serve. Yet we have players uh, these days who are at uh, the A++ level in one or more volleyball skills. Luciano De Cicca, for example, is uh, definitely A++ in setting. Robert Landis Simon is A++ on the attack. Wilfredo Leal, when healthy, is A++ at serving. And what was my volleyball level? I played three times at the World Championships. Uh, I attacked to insert well, but my receiving and defense was average. I was an A plus player, although I had uh, some uh, international tournaments and matches where I played A plus plus volleyball. And what level are you at? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm very interested. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.